The SX series of autoclaves is Tomy's latest high-performance and space-efficient autoclaves, made and assembled in Japan. The SX series of autoclaves feature a compact main body that allows the user to place the autoclaves in a space-limited laboratory. The exact dimensions differ for the three SX series of autoclaves, so have a look at the specification listed on the screen. These autoclaves also feature a top open lid, allowing the autoclaves to be placed in an area without a buffer zone at the sides. This saves important space needed for other equipment. The SX series of autoclaves feature a large chamber capacity that is unexpected for its compact size. This allows users to sterilize large loads that would normally take another cycle to complete. In addition, the combination of its large chamber size and its rapid cycle time allow users to sterilize a substantial amount of items in a short time period. The SX series of autoclaves have been designed with a lower height which allows users to easily get to the bottom basket before and after autoclaving. Users will also find cleaning to be easier with the lower height of the autoclaves. The SX series of autoclaves uses a UK power plug which is compatible with all Malaysian 240V UK power sockets. The SX300 and SX500 uses the standard 13A UK power plug. While the SX700 uses the higher amperage 15A UK power plug. Once connected to a power outlet, flick on the power switch found on the right side of the autoclave to turn on the autoclave. There is a pressure gauge located at the front of the autoclave to indicate the current pressure of the internal chamber during operation. There is a red bar indicator on the pressure gauge, warning users when the pressure within the autoclave chamber reaches a level that is dangerously high. The SX series of autoclaves feature a one-handed, top-open lid that can be operated easily with a hand on the handle along with a foot on the pedal. This allows users to open the lid with minimal effort. Due to this feature, users can open and load autoclave baskets in one swift motion without ever placing the basket on a table or on the floor. The SX series of autoclaves feature a gapless design between the loading chamber and the body of the autoclave. This prevents fluids or items to drop into this space. This will allow for a cleaner and longer operation of the autoclave. The lid interlock function is one of the safety features made to prevent unanticipated accidents from occurring. The lid interlock works by preventing users from opening the lid once an autoclave cycle has started. In this scenario, one of the staff started a sterilization cycle to autoclave some laboratory bottles. The staff leaves the area without telling others that she is using the autoclave. Soon after, another staff comes in and tries to open the autoclave without knowing a cycle has started. Luckily, the lid interlock feature prevented the lid of the autoclave from opening. This prevented a big disaster from occurring. In the second scenario, one of the staff started a sterilization cycle to autoclave some laboratory bottles. She leaves the room as the autoclave cycle takes some time to complete. When she was out, there was a power outage that lasted for a few minutes.
When the power returned, the staff promptly went to check on the autoclave. However, due of the blackout, she had forgotten that the sterilization was still taking place a few minutes ago and she carelessly tried to open the autoclave lid. Thankfully, the lid did not open due to the lid interlock feature. She could have been injured badly from the explosive steam if this feature was not present on the autoclave. There are indicators present on the main display corresponding to the lid, bottle and water. Even if only one indicator is on, the autoclave will not start autoclaving. The water indicator will light up red when there is insufficient water present inside the chamber of the autoclave. After adding an appropriate amount of water to the bottom of the chamber, the water indicator will turn off. The bottle indicator will light up red when the exhaust bottle has not been inserted in fully. After gently seating the exhaust bottle back in place, the bottle indicator will turn off. The lid indicator will light up red when the lid of the autoclave has not been fully closed. After the lid has been fully closed by pressing firmly down on the handle, the lid indicator will turn off. The SX series of autoclaves feature five buttons on the main display which allow for the selection of five different courses. The five courses include a liquid sterilizing course, a normal sterilizing course, a sterilizing warming course, a heating warming course and memory recall course. The liquid sterilizing course is designed to prevent sudden boiling of liquid media after sterilization. The normal sterilizing course is designed for general solid and waste sterilization. The sterilizing warming course is designed to prevent the coagulation and hardening of culture media after sterilization. The autoclave does this by maintaining a specific temperature for a period of time after sterilization. The heating warming course is designed to dissolve and warm up pre-sterilized culture media before use. This course omits a sterilization cycle to prevent denaturation of the media, enabling users to obtain more accurate results in the laboratory. Lastly, the memory recall course allows users to recall back the preferred operating condition that was previously used. To set the memory recall course, users must first choose from one of the four preset courses. Users can then customize the temperature, time, exhaust speed and cooling fan settings accordingly. These customized settings can then be saved into the memory course by long pressing the memory button. The timer function can be set at the start of an operation to prevent wastage of time and tedious monitoring. The timer function can be easily set by pressing on the timer button. The time of delay can be set with the arrow buttons, and with these steps done, the sterilization can be started. In this scenario, one of the staff will be leaving the laboratory after a hard day's work. If there was no timer setting, she would have to start the autoclave process the next day, wasting limited time that could have been used to complete other tasks at work. With the timer set for 12 hours, she can now come back to the laboratory the next day with the bottles just freshly autoclaved, ready to be used in the lab. The SX series of autoclaves feature two speed adjustable vessel cooling fans. The vessel cooling fans will reduce the time in which the chamber takes to cool down. In both scenarios, the laboratory staff started a sterilization cycle to autoclave some bottles. In the left scenario, the staff decided to enable the two cooling fans before starting the sterilization cycle. 
On the other hand, the staff on the right scenario chose to disable the two cooling fans before starting the sterilization cycle. The staff in both scenarios left the room, allowing the sterilization cycle to take its course. When the sterilization phase completes, the autoclave will first automatically exhaust the pressurized steam from the chamber. The speed of the exhaust can be set to one of six levels, as desired by the user. In this case, the exhaust speed was set to the highest level. During that process, the cooling fans will also turn on if they were enabled before or after the sterilization phase has completed. With the cooling fans enabled, the total time taken for a cycle to complete will be reduced by 20 to 25 minutes. There is a large indication light on the main display that will change color, according to the current status of the autoclave. The indicator light will be off when the autoclave is in standby mode. The indicator light will light up orange when the autoclave is heating up or cooling down. The indicator light will light up red when the pressure within the autoclave is higher than the atmospheric pressure. 